Hey folks, welcome back to another video of the Flutter development course brought to you by Newton School. My name is Harsh Kumar Khatri and I am currently working as a Flutter developer at Aliyup Sweden and I have worked as an intern at Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and I have also interned at a firm named AppScript where I was working as a Flutter developer. I am also an educator and instructor on Udemy and Adionix where my Flutter development courses have more than 40,000 plus enrollments so you can check them out as well. Now talking about what Newton School is, so basically Newton School is a platform that helps you to learn and develop the skills that you need for your best tech career. There are courses specifically designed for freshers, working professionals and for women with no prior experience in tech. Newton School first trains you for 6 months and helps you become a full stack developer and they are also having 300 plus great companies who are directly from Newton School so you don't have to worry about the placement. They are also having a pay after placement program where you don't have to pay anything to Newton School until and unless you are placed with a minimum CTC of 5 lakh rupees per annum. And they are also having another amazing initiative known as Launchpad where they are providing you with some of the courses for free of cost. So you can go through those courses, learn the things which are being taught and also get a certificate of completion for the same. So you can check out Newton School and Launchpad through the link given in the description and I would definitely suggest you to do so. So in this video I am going to show you the implementation of Block which is uh, another state management solution which people use when they are working with large scale application which require Block or like uh, separate components for business logic and different components which are being used in the UI part. So I'll be showing you the implementation and how we can implement a state management solution inside our counter app uh, with the help of Block package which is available to us. So yeah let's start with the video without wasting any more time and let's jump directly to the code. So herein you can see over here that I have opened the app which we have worked on in the previous video. So this is the app where I have shown you the implementation for the stream, uh, streams and the sync which we have in Flutter. And through this app only like I have shown you the implementation of uh, this counter app which uh, in which you can add one, uh, subtract one or set the value back to zero on the click of these floating action button. So in this video I am going to show you how you can uh, like work on block and how you can implement block inside our flutter application and apart from that uh, uh, at first I will be showing you the custom implementation through which you will be writing all the code by yourself and after that I will also be showing you the implementation through which you can uh, add the blocks very easily inside your flutter code just by click of some uh, uh, few buttons so that would be like enabling a block for your project as well. So we'll be seeing both of these methods. So now let's start working on uh, these. So at first the first thing which I need to do over here is I need to add some uh, dependencies inside my Flutter uh, inside my Flutter project that is the pubspec.yaml file. So I need to add them over here. So I'll be going on Google. We'll be typing block at first. And under this installing I'll be copying the block code for adding the block dependency inside our flutter project. Next I need flutter underscore block. Copying it as well. And pasting it over here. And I need equitable as well. So I'll be pasting that too over here. And hitting control S so that these dependencies are fetched inside our flutter project. And this will be like uh, fetching the dependencies until then let me delete this counter controller as we won't be needing it for our flutter project anymore. And inside the main dot dart file as the counter controller is being used. So I guess this should provide us with a few error. And if it is not providing, yeah, so there it goes. It is providing us with few errors. So let them be for now. Let's first focus on implementing block for our app and then we'll be fixing these errors as well. Let me just remove this line because it's not any worth for us inside this project. So yeah, now you can see over here that I have this source directory and inside it I have three directory, one for controller, one for model and one for view. So I am not using any of three, uh, any of these three directory. I will be creating my folder directly inside the SRC folder. So I will be naming my folder as counter and this folder will be uh, holding the block file for our project. It will also be holding the event file for our project and it will also be holding the state file for our project. I'll let me create all of these three files and then I'll be uh, like uh, explaining you why we have created these files and how you can create these in an easy way. So starting with I'll be creating a count, uh, counter .block file and the extension would be counter block dot dart only and inside this counter block file I need to create I need to first import a sync and then I'll be creating the file. So a sync that's dart async over there. 
importing the block which we have uh, added so block it is not showing block dot dot let me just remove and let me just first add the things and I guess it would be fetching them automatically so counter block would be extending so extends block and it will be of it will be taking a counter event and a counter state and after this counter block uh, counter event and counter state it will be having a constructor so counter block an empty constructor with a super keyword and this will be having the counter state with the counter value being passed as zero and it is not yet uh, recognizing this block so let me hit control s once again so that flutter pub get command is running and our block is recognized and we can then import it so it is finding quick fixes for it and this should work and you can see over here that uh, the error have gone away for a while and they have returned back so now you can see that i have imported flutter block from block uh, like flutter block from flutter block dot dot and I have created this counter block over here and I need to create a missing override and other things as well so let me create or complete this counter block so at first I'll be having an override over here and this override would be having a stream which will be taking the counter state and with the help of this counter state we will be mapping event to the state of the app and inside it we can pass the counter event and it will be having the event we will then be checking if the event is increment which is basically the event which will be creating so let me first before adding the events let us first add those files as well so I will be adding a code that is part and counter underscore event dot dot and let's create that file so counter underscore event dot dot and inside this counter underscore event dot dot what we can add is we can add various different events so uh, as we are having this uh, file as a part of the counter block so we need to first add part of over here and uh, inside it we can add the file of uh, we can add the file where it is a part of so for us it is a part of counter underscore block dot dot file so adding that over here and we need to create an abstract class with the name of counter event which will be extending the equitable class so equitable and uh, after that creating a constant constructor of type counter so counter event and after that it will be having an override and this override will be for a list of objects which will be got by the get constructor over here or the get keyword and we'll be having props which are the properties for it and these would be got with from this list through this arrow function and herein we can assign all the events which we want so class increment event extends the controller the counter event I am adding a controller so counter event and copying it pasting two more times so reset event and decrement event so we have created the e three events which will be necessary for us or uh, these are the events which we will be using for triggering the uh, functionalities inside our app so herein I will be adding if the event is equals to increment event so in this particular case like this event is equal to increment event so what we will be doing is uh, we will be I guess I'm missing something over here I need to add 
a sync with a star over here because we'll be yielding the output inside this so we'll be yielding if it is an increment event so from the counter state with the counter value being set to uh, state dot counter and plus one <laughs> and after that uh, we need to do the same thing with this decrement as well and for the recent uh, as well so copying it pasting two more times else if else if the event is decrement event so it would be decreased by one and if the event is reset event then the value of this counter should be set to zero and it is still showing us an error because we haven't added these particular uh, counter state yet so we need to add the counter state as well so let me add that thing or let me create the counter state inside our counter directory which we are having so new file counter state dot dot and it will be a part of counter block dot dot after that uh, counter block inside this counter block we need to uh, add that it is uh, we are also having another file which is a part of it so counter state and it is showing me an error over here package hello world Uh, it needs to be counter block and counter state file is also being recognized so inside this counter state let me create the state as well so class counter state extend so it will be extending the equitable as well and herein we will be having an integer counter if you are not able to understand any of these so don't need to worry i'll be covering about each of these components why i have added various different files and what is the use of each of these so i'll be covering that once i have completed the implementation so don't worry about that i'll be just telling you about each and everything so counter state constructor which will be having a required keyword required this dot counter and here in override list of object having a get props with an arrow function and props being passed over here from the list copying this counter state uh, Mm -hmm. where it is counter state not being recognized let me check counter value is e uh, same for this as well so part of part let me go back to counter block file we are getting a uh, flutter block let me try import block as well So we are still getting an error for the counter state over here. So the counter state error from here has already gone away. So if the event is this, we need to yield counter state with a counter and state dot avoid unnecessary yield counter state and the counter value would be equal to state dot counter plus one the type string uh, dynamic implemented yield make return type nullable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. let me delete these and add it over here from scratch so yield yield oh y i e l d 
I guess there was a typo error inside this. So y i e l d and here in as well y i e l d. I was worried what is the error which is occurring, and here in I need to import the counter controller as well. Oh, this is from the previous. I guess yeah, this is from the previous file, like the previous project. So I don't need to remove it. In place of it, I need to set the value. So I'll be replacing this, and counter block would be coming here, and I'll be replacing it as well. So counter block. So yeah, until now we have completed the implementation for our block. So I have shown you how you can create a block and how you can create various different components. You don't need to worry. I'll be showing you. or i'll be explaining you each, uh, why i have added each of those file and what is the use of each of those file but uh, before that we are proceeding towards that let us uh, just revamp this uh, main dot dart file which we are having as well so that we can uh, use it for like uh, implementing the functions so as i have already shown you we are having this floating action button three floating action button over here so i'll be changing the on press property for each of them So at first I'll be changing the uh, this for the increment. So we are having counter block over here, and inside it I'll be adding the event which we need to call. So the event which I'll be calling is the increment event over here, and this would be directly increasing the value by one. For the decrement as well, I need to add an event inside it which would be of a type decrement event, and for the reset as well, doing the same thing. so add reset event so this looks pretty good and for the stream builder as we have used it previously so i don't need stream builder anymore i need a block builder in place of it so in as we are having the body as center so i'll be cu uh, cutting out this particular center from the body and in place of it i'll be adding a block builder so block builder is basically a kind of a stream builder which uh, helps or which helps us to build or like update the ui listening the data from the block and like updating the state of that uh, on the basis of whatever the events are passed by the uh, being passed by the user so we are using block builder because we have used the block over here so it will be having a counter block a counter state as well i need to add a builder let me first add the block which would be equal to the counter block and builder which will be taking the context each time it takes the same thing and it will also be taking the state and we'll be returning the widget which we copied the center widget so we are getting very a large number of errors so let me just remove it and we'll be returning a center over here i guess this should be fine and i need to add a comma the next line error would go away the parameter builder is required oops the parameter builder has been assigned and now inside this center i'll be updating the value or i'll be adding the values which i need so let me just first delete the center and try paste the things again and now the things are working fine and so you can see over here for this widget part the builder part i have added a return which is having a center at first then a column and it is having a children displaying a text and i need to remove this stream builder so i don't need this stream builder anymore so i'll be removing the complete implementation of the stream builder and here in inside this text what i can display over here is the uh, counter data whatever we are having so we we are getting the state over here inside this builder so state dot value of counter dot to string as it is being displayed in the form of a integer and for the theme i have already set it to be the one which was there in the previous app also and you can see over here that type uh, counter controller is not a sub type of counter block function result so let me hot restart the app once and let's see if it is still showing us with the same error or it has updated the things uh, dynamically in the app so there you can see that we are displayed with a file 
uh, we are displayed with the app after it has run or like the restart has completed now before moving towards the complete implementation of uh, uh, like uh, each of the functionality which are uh, which we have added so let me show you or let me explain you uh, why we have created these three files so if you have followed the previous video i have shown you or i have explained you that we are having events we are having states and we are having a block inside our flutter application so to keep all each of these things separate we have created three files one for event one for the state of the app and one for the implementation of the block the block file would be the one which would be connecting the state and which would be uh, like connecting the event to the state and mapping each of the user event which we are uh, triggering and accordingly it will be like generating the state and will be updating the state for the app now walking you through the file for the event so we are having this uh, abstract class which would be staying constant like we won't be changing that class much and it is having extending equitable now you must be thinking why we are having an equitable so uh, each time when we are trying to compare two things so we are using two equals to sign but that those do not work when we are trying to com uh, like compare two classes because a, a single property being differing in those classes would result in being the classes being inequitable or unequal so to make the classes compare in a better way we use the equitable property over here so that's why we are extending it over here and we are having this list of properties uh, which will be used for like storing the data or I'm not totally sure what this will be doing but uh, it would be mostly for storing the state of the app or triggering the events on the basis of uh, like triggering the state or changing the state on the basis of the events and here we are having three events which will be used for performing the actions inside the app inside the state as well we are having a similar thing in the state we have created the uh, this particular variable for our app and it is having a constructor and similarly we are having the props over here as well uh, inside this event we have this uh, list as empty but herein we have the list as uh, with the value of props and coming towards the block we are having this block file which will be extending the event and the counter state because it is there to connect both of them and we have created a, a map to state uh, map event to state function which is returning a type of stream in the form uh, stream in the form of counter state and uh, we are also having this async star over here so I have already told you why we are having an async star uh, the reason being that we are uh, yielding the data rather than returning the data so that's why we are having an async star and uh, here we will be taking each of these events we will be checking if the event is equal to increment event if so then we will be yielding the uh, stream uh, we will be yielding the complete stream of data in the form of a counter state by updating the value by one uh, in I mean increasing the value by one and if we are having a decrement event then we will be doing the same by decrement the value of 1 and if we are having a reset event then we will be like doing or setting the value of counter to be 0 now I have spoken a lot of things let me show you the implementation of the app as well so whenever I will be clicking on this plus 1 you can see over here that the value of this uh, will be increasing by 1 and it is not increasing we are provided, by, uh, provided uh, with an error let me see what it is so we are getting an error the reason being that we haven't assigned the value over here as counter it needs to be counter and we have assigned it to be uh, the props and now let me try once again running the app and you can see over here that whenever i am clicking on this plus one option over here so the value is increasing by one when whenever i'll be clicking on this minus one option the value would be decreasing by one and when I'll be clicking on this reset option, the value would be uh, set to zero automatically. And inside the main dot dart file, you can see over here that we are still using the stateless widget and the uh, state of the app is updating dynamically throughout the app on the click of each of these button. Now coming to how you can uh, create all of these three files easily inside your Flutter project. So we have an extension which is available for uh, this dart, uh, this VS code IDE. So that extension is basically the block extension which supports the block library and helps us create uh, the block uh, uh, files which we need uh, easily inside our app. So if you have once installed that uh, extension, let me show you that as well. So once if you have installed this extension, what you have to do is you have to come to your directory, directory view inside the folder, whichever you want to create the block. So for example, I want to create my block inside the source directory. So I'll be uh, right clicking on it. And herein you can see an option which says block new block so I'll be clicking on it and it will be asking me to add a name for it so I'll be adding demo and you can see that successfully generated a demo block 
and you can see that a block directory has been created with the file demo block demo event and demo state going inside it you can see demo block demo initial and uh, these are the events we can implement our functionality over here the event file is also created and the state file is also created accordingly so this is how you can create the uh, block easily inside your app uh, without uh, ne without the need of being writing a large amount of code which i have shown you inside this video so i have just shown you uh, the large amount of code because like i wanted to be uh, sure of uh, why we are adding the thing and what each of these things would be doing so that's the reason i have shown you the complete implementation as well you can like always refer to this uh, uh, short implementation of adding the block because it would be much more easier and would be saving your time when you are working on complex projects so yeah this was pretty much it for this video to wrap up in this video we have covered the block packages which are available in flutter and i have shown you the complete implementation of how you can add block the events and the state and how you can dynamically update the state of your flutter application on the click of an event although you are using the stateless widgets so yeah this was uh, all i have covered and if you have got to learn something new from this video then make sure to drop a like if you want uh, to see any other thing as well or if you want me to cover any other state management solution then comment down below. You can also comment down below your thoughts, what you think and what you got to learn. Share this video with the people in your community whom you want to help learn Flutter and subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates related to a new video being posted of this Flutter development course on every alternate day. So subscribe as well. And yeah, that was it for uh, this video. Make sure to check out Newton School and Launchpad through the link given in the description. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching.